state of Kentucky is known for three things. It's known for horse racing, it's known for making baseball bats, and it's known for Kentucky basketball. You talk Kentucky, the first thing you gotta talk about is the tradition. You think about the 762 winning percentage all time, most wins of any college basketball all time. They have the most tournament wins and they have the second most championships next to John Wooden. Great program, they're constant winners in every era of the game. And uh, now they have uh, you know, the premier coach and now they're the team to watch on national television every single night it seems. And Kentucky has done such a great job over the years, and especially recently, of bringing that tradition back. That's 20 for Walker. Rondo in the lane. John Wall, unstoppable. Kentucky takes it. You know what the fans are in Kentucky? Crazy, crazy, and crazier. And when you think about the Kentucky Wildcats, the Bluegrass State is all about Big Blue Nation. Nothing is as important at Kentucky as our basketball program being there. It goes from season to recruiting season to preseason. It doesn't stop. I mean, Kentucky basketball, 366 days a year because they're talking about it twice on that last Sunday. They show up to Midnight Madness. They show up to games. They, they care when the team plays well and the team plays poorly. At the Final Four last year in New Orleans, you could not go walk down a street in any corner of that city without seeing a pack of 20 people with Kentucky jerseys on. You can play them in Rupp, you can play them on Mars. They'll be there. Adolph Rupp defines Kentucky basketball the same way that George Washington defines the presidency. When you think of Kentucky basketball, the first name that comes to mind is the guy that did it forever. Rupp won four titles there. He was there for 42 years. Every school that has a rich program and a rich tradition needs somebody to lay the foundation. That's what Adolph Rupp did in Lexington. Adolph Rupp means a lot to Kentucky basketball, um, but I think his legacy is defined more by a game he lost than by a game he won. The landmark game, of course, against Texas Western. Five black starters for Texas Western, five white starters for Kentucky. Texas Western goes on to win that game. It was right in the heart of the Civil Rights Movement, right in the middle of the 1960s. It opened America's eyes to the racial divide that still existed in some of these basketball programs. Kentucky was slower to get into that mold, so 30 years later, when they hire Tubby Smith as their head coach, it's a massive deal to the people of Kentucky. And so you've got your first African-American coach taking Kentucky in 1998 to the national championship. They play Utah, and he wins. When Tubby Smith won the national championship, I, I think it made, it made meant a great deal for Kentucky basketball and really for the African-American community, bringing everything full circle to where that program was under Rupp to where it is today. Basketball breaking down so many barriers and changing perceptions in the state of Kentucky was probably embodied most when Kentucky won a national championship under Tubby Smith. He's blocked by Davis. The Cats are running wild. He just posterized him. Cal's kids brought it tonight. Kentucky right now is probably a lot of people would say the best job in college basketball. Ever since John Calipari got to Kentucky in 2010, the staple of Kentucky basketball has been unbelievable freshmen. They are right now the identity of the one and done player, which I am not against. Talent is talent. Calipari takes a whole lot of heat for the one and done, but the more time I spend around Calipari, the more I start to drink his Kool-Aid. He is the best, without a doubt, recruiter in college basketball and it paid off last year with a national championship because he had the top two guys in the NBA draft, some unbelievable freshmen, but they were mixed together with guys that had played for John Calipari. Well, Kentucky is a tale of two seasons. Certainly last season, they were at the pinnacle of the sport. This year, it's definitely more of a struggle. I think the standard is so high, winning national championships for Kentucky and Kentucky fans is more relief than joy. If you have John Calipari, as the face of your program, you're going to recruit the best of the best each and every year. They always seem to get some of the blue chip guys in the bluegrass. You know, other fans probably don't like the fact that every year these guys have the, you know, either the number one pick or, or five draft picks in one year uh, coming out of Kentucky. 
uh, and it's easy to be jealous of those guys. As long as Calipari's there, who's the preeminent recruiter in college basketball, Kentucky's not going anywhere. When you're the winningest program in college basketball history, it's safe to say that Kentucky is basketball royalty.